Ever wonder why the steak at your favorite restaurant tastes so much better than the one you make at home? We've all been there, right? You buy the best cut of beef you can find. You follow the recipe to the letter. But somehow, it's just not the same. It's a common struggle, trying to recreate that restaurant-quality steak in your own kitchen. But don't worry, we're here to help. Stick around if you want to learn how to prepare a beefsteak that rivals your favorite restaurants. The journey to a perfect steak starts way before it hits the pan. It begins at the butcher shop. Choosing the right cut of beef is a critical step on your path to steak nirvana. Each cut of beef has its own unique characteristics, and these can greatly influence the flavor and texture of your steak. Let's start with the ribeye. This cut is rich, juicy, and full of flavor thanks to its high fat content and beautiful marbling. It's a steak lover's dream. Then we have the sirloin. It's leaner than the ribeye, but still packs a punch in terms of flavor. It's a versatile cut that's great for grilling, broiling, or pan searing. And of course, there's the filet mignon. This cut is the epitome of tenderness. It's lean, it's delicate, and it melts in your mouth. Each cut offers a different steak experience, so it's worth exploring them all to find your personal favorite. Remember, a great steak starts with a great cut of beef. Now that you've got your perfect cut, it's time for some prep work. This is where the magic really starts to happen. One of the most important steps in preparing your steak is letting it reach room temperature. This might sound like a small detail, but trust me, it makes a world of difference. When the steak is at room temperature, it cooks more evenly, leading to a tastier, juicier result. Next comes the seasoning. A sprinkle of salt and cracked black pepper is all you need. Seasoning the steak well before cooking allows the flavors to penetrate deeply, enhancing the natural beefy goodness. Lastly, preheat your pan. A hot pan is essential for achieving that golden brown crispy crust that we all love. This also locks in the juices, keeping your steak moist and flavorful. With these preparation steps, you're setting up your steak for success. Remember, a well-prepared steak is a well-cooked steak. And a well-cooked steak? That's the secret to a meal you won't soon forget. The steak is prepped, the pan is hot, and now it's showtime. It's all about the sizzle and the sear. Place your steak in the pan. Hearing that satisfying sizzle, that's the sound of a good sear in the making. Now this is important. Don't be tempted to move the steak around the pan. Let it be. Let it sear. Let it develop that beautiful caramelized crust. While your steak is cooking, Resist the urge to flip it too often. A common mistake is to flip it back and forth, but the secret is to let it cook undisturbed. One flip is all it needs. So how do you know when it's time to flip? Look for a golden brown crust. That's your cue. Flip it over and repeat the process. Now how do you tell when your steak is done to your liking? It's all about the feel. A rare steak feels soft, a medium steak feels springy, and a well-done steak feels firm. It's a little bit of trial and error, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. Once your steak is cooked to perfection, remember to let it rest. This allows the juices to redistribute, ensuring a moist and flavorful bite every time. And just like that, you've cooked a restaurant-worthy steak right in your own kitchen. So, let's quickly recap everything you've learned today. We began our culinary adventure by unveiling the secret ingredient to a perfect steak, choosing the right cut. Whether it's a juicy ribeye, a tender filet mignon, or a flavorful sirloin, the cut of beef you choose sets the foundation for your steak experience. Next, we delved into the importance of preparation. To unlock the full potential of your chosen cut, you need to properly season and marinate your steak. Remember, the key lies in simplicity. A dash of salt, a sprinkle of pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil can work wonders. Finally, we fired up the grill and explored the art of cooking your steak. Timing is everything here, folks. Too short, and you're left with a raw center. Too long, and you risk losing the tenderness and juiciness that make a steak so delectable. Next time you're craving a delicious steak, give these tips a try. You might surprise yourself with how good your homemade steak can be.